It's important to understand the tax rules that apply to your pension. What is the annual allowance? It's the limit on how much your pension can grow each year and benefit from tax relief. For the teacher's pension scheme, this is based on the increase in the value of your benefits each year, rather than the contributions you made. Most people will have a standard annual allowance of £60,000. However, it reduces if you earn over a certain amount. You may also have a reduced allowance if you've taken any defined contribution savings in that year. What are my responsibilities? It's your responsibility to check if you're affected by the annual allowance, the level of allowance that applies to you, and whether the benefits that you've built up during the year in any pension scheme, not just your teacher's pension, have exceeded it. You can find out if you've any tax to pay on your savings by using the online HMRC calculators. What is a pension savings statement and how do I access it? If you've exceeded your annual allowance, we'll send you an email by the 6th of October, letting you know your pension savings statement is available for you on My Pension Online. You can also request one at any time. What happens if I exceed the annual allowance? If you exceed the annual allowance and have no carry forward available, then you'll need to pay tax on the amount that you've gone over. Carry forward refers to any unused annual allowance that you may have from the previous three tax years. You'll need to decide whether to pay the tax directly to HMRC or make a scheme pays election, where the scheme will pay the charge on your behalf. This would then be deducted from your benefits at the point of retirement or transfer from the scheme. Pension debit will be taken off annually for life. Any scheme pays election must be received before payment of your retirement benefits. Find out more information by visiting www.teacherspensions.co.uk